So this was the weather in Shanghai yesterday on the 28th Thursday. But today is Friday the 29th of April 2022. A very warm welcome to the show. Inside temperature here is 29, outside temperature is 33. Yesterday was baking. This sounds feels quite cool compared to today. What's happening in the show? A lot. And let's go straight away into the levels without taking a break with this. And the reason of the title for this, what goes up must come down. Look at the levels today. Kutan has gone up. It's in red. It's 169.05. That's gone up. Free Gorges has gone up to 167.04. Inflow is not there, but the outflow is 10,600. And it's so obvious that the sluice gates are not open. And it's so obvious that, just logically speaking, one plus one equals two. That's my kind of logic. And there is some kind of serious problem with the free gorges, whether it's the vibration that someone said that's caused the floodgates, maybe the cranes cannot open the sluice gates, the big red cranes on top of the free gorges that we've seen quite often. We just don't know. So with that, let's have a look at the weather for you. Okay, looks like this. I don't know what that noise was. Just put it on play and the hand is by the free gorges. The map is the whole of China. And you can see that there's not a bucket load of rain, but there are millimeters of rain over the next coming days, like the three or four days there. And a lot of this weather is going in a straight direction to the Yellow Sea. I actually found out that it going to more than the South China Sea, which would just be below the country of Taiwan. And then it goes dry for a moment or two, but all the weather comes from the west at the moment and a little bit dry so you could say in a couple of days time that the levels of the free gorges may go down again but it's still not at that needed number of 145 ready for the monsoon of 2022 so let's have a look straight away at the uh, weather forecast and I managed to get this from a company called wetter.com and you can see morning, noon, evening and night at the Free Gorges Dam. So you see all the temperatures and the rain there. I'm afraid it's all in Celsius for you. Soon there will be a new satellite image, but this image was taken on the 10th of April. So this is three weeks old and you can go quite easily to Senatal, go to Senatal Hub playground senatal hub playground and there you can find this image type in on the search engine free gorgeous dam and you can zoom into about 200 meters from the satellite and there you can see that the sluice gates haven't opened well what weren't open on the 10th of april but maybe next week hopefully next week we get a new image and we can see from there i have checked the webcam but that's gone down that's constantly down so all we can get is this one from the free gorges um, or from the senatal hub playground again go to senatal hub type in playground and then you can just type in free gorges and you can see that for yourself this is a title china free gorges dam faces record uh, high water levels now this is not from 2022 this is from previous years but it's going to be you feel like it's going to be if these gates don't open or if the water levels don't go down you are going to get an overspill there's no matter of fact about it the safety level the top safety level is 175 meters the 2020 it was at 178 the top the very top of the free gorges dam either is 180 or 185 it's sort of like we don't know and maybe it's there for security reasons but it's you can say between 180 185 so all it needs is another 18 meters only 18 meters to for the overspill so what would that look like i have found this image here of a dam that has a overspill and it, you can see that the water is just going over the top now i don't know if it's designed to be like that it's got nothing going to be like the free gorges 
but it just goes basically over the top. There's no sluice gates on this dam either. It's just how the <laughs> dam is. So maybe it's used for flood control. Uh, maybe but I don't think it's used for any electricity. Don't know. I don't even know where the dam is, but what I'm doing is a general idea for you of what it may happen if the sluice gates don't open, if the monsoon is really bad this year on the Yangtze, on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River from Chongqing to basically uh, the Three Gorges itself or to Yingchang, and this possibly could happen. Way back in um, 2020, I, did I say this before or did I do it earlier? Can't remember, but I'll do it again. The levels did get up to 178 and when the winds were strong then there was a tiny and I mean a tiny overspill not because it, it overflowed it's because the wind brought up the water because it was quite stormy okay so a piece of good news on my live china channel uh, you can now do super chat so if you want to buy me a beer or if you want to buy me a coffee then you can just click some buttons or whatever i'm really not too sure how it works but it is there and i just say thank you in advance also i've been covering a lot of shanghai recently and i'm going to recommend this guy latest from teacher mike shanghai lockdown week four uh, this was four days ago from today he is in shanghai he is in shanghai and gives you a honest report of what his life is like there's no bs there it's not it's not sensitive it's not criticizing in any way just how life is like and i think it's possibly the most honest report you could have from shanghai living in shanghai but what i did earlier today was a video related to it of called 40 days and 40 nights lockdown shanghai and I am going to show it here. It's going to be about two and a half minutes, about two minutes long, and you can see what is there. If you want to skip, just go to about two minutes on, and then we'll come to the end of the show. so much for your time i'm not too sure how long the show is I, I think it may have been a bit too long for today the like is fantastic the share is most excellent i may have a little surprise for you a little bit later on i am in some kind of or the beginning stages of a negotiation related to a person who's been on youtube for a long time but that is something um, maybe for a month or two but it's just the start of it uh, 
please note that YouTube for me is just a hobby. No way could I make a living out of this at all. I'm retired anyhow. It's sort of like a, a little bit of extra income and I do like a challenge in my life. So this is why I do YouTube, trying to bring you the truth, trying to bring you what's happening, not just about the free gorge of Dan, but also in China. So thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you and welcome to the new subscribers. They are going up slowly, step by step. And I hopefully will see you tomorrow. Have a most excellent day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye for now. It's baking hot. I'm sweating while I'm doing this. Cheerio. Bye-bye.